How's it going everybody? I hope you're having an awesome day. Today we're going to take a look at how I was able to get over 31,000 capital peak points from only attacking barbarian camps on three separate raids. So jump into the first attack and see how I'm taking out these crazy barbarian camps. We will primarily be using the air version of the graveyard spam strategy. So pretty much on the first attack that you use you want to ideally open up the key walls that are going to prevent your balloons from getting closer deployment into the base. So we've only had to open up one section of walls and deploy a couple of barbarians to clear out some of the trash buildings. And now it's just a matter of trying to go for the other key defenses which are the air bombs and the other rocket artillery. If you're able to take out two or ideally three of those key defenses on the first attack and you are in a very good spot to finish up the base with just using two attacks. And then depending on the level and the uh, amount of points available you can very easily clear 30,000 capital B points. So here we've used up all of our balloons, we've cleared a nice chunk of the base out, we're just letting the last barbarian and a couple of minions do their thing. And then we'll be able to set up the plan for the final attack. We're able to take out two of the air bombs and one of the rocket artilleries, which is perfect. So now on this final attack, the cleanup attack, we can focus on trying to get down this rocket artillery and this last air bombs on the side. We've opened up all the deployment around that section of base. So we're going to drop one pack of balloons per defense so that hopefully the balloons don't take too much splash damage from those defenses. Now once that's done, you really just want to send in one more pack of balloons per air targeting defense. So you need one for the rapid rockets, one for the air defense, and then ideally you would send two packs per Tesla, depending on their level, because one pack of balloons will not quite take out the Teslas. But now there is nothing left on the base. And we even got 570 bonus points. So let's jump into the next one and see how we take out this one. Again, our goal on the first attack is to take out hopefully one or at least do at least half damage to the rock artilleries with the graveyard spell. And then ideally one or two of the air bombs. So this base, there's not too much ground targeting defenses on this front side of the base. And I figured that we would probably get about the same value from using an air like those rocket balloons on this base. So we're coming in with the ground version of the graveyard spam strategy. And the goal is to try and push into the core of this base because there were a lot of compartments on this base. Or to use the first attack with a bunch of the battle ramps so that can open up all those wall sections. So that on the second attack, we can use those balloons, <clears throat> and then once those sec sections of the base get taken out, we can move deeper and hopefully take out those air bombs. So, so we, <clears throat> as we look on the second final attack on this base, there's almost 8,000 points remaining, so it's going to be a pretty difficult second hit. Typically, if there was not direct access to the air bombs, and if these rocket artillery were not already partially damaged, this would be a failed attempt. But we were able to very quickly get on top of the air bombs and almost directly target them. We've got the air bombs on the right hand side, and both of the rocket artillery are now down. So we only have to worry about these back end air targeting defenses. If this rapid rockets was higher level, this probably would have been a fail, just because the rapid rockets actually do quite a bit of damage, and they're very quick at taking out those air skeletons from a graveyard spell. But we have just enough balloons left over, so we're able to fully take out the base. Nothing left but the cleanup, the last giant's post, and we're able to finish off this rather tricky barbarian camp in two shots. We even got a bonus 321 points. So last up on the agenda is one more Barbarian Camp. And this was the very first one that we came across in our raid weekends. So not the greatest layout. 
mostly the basic standard layout, however, still worth over 10,000 capital P points. So, you guys know the drill by now, just gonna speed it up, clear the trash out, open up the walls, try to directly target and get closer to those air targeting key defenses. We're able to sneak in one barbarian on this right hand side, it's gonna take out at least one I think. We have to send in another barbarian to get a better angle on the air bombs on the right hand side. Then we have a few packs of balloons to push in from the left hand side of the base to try and get closer to this quadrant with the air bombs and then hopefully we can start to take out some of the air targeting defenses on the back end of the base. But on this first attack it's been perfect. We took out all three of the air bombs and one of the rocket artilleries so there's only the one rocket artillery left and that should not be a problem at all just have to be careful not to group up too many of the balloons in one spot we should be just fine so of course we use the graveyards on the back end side of the base because we know that's going to be primarily where all the damage is coming from these few defenses on the front side pose pretty much no threat to our balloons we get sort of a bad angle because some of the balloons go to the giant cannons we Luckily had some of the death damage destroy the rapid rockets. Now we can start to directly target these defenses on the back end. We have the air skeletons doing their job nicely and taking out the rock artillery. And now we have the whole army and parade of the air skeletons cleaning up the rest of the base. Now we can start to directly target the trash buildings. And we have got another barbarian camp to shop. Even got a bonus of 486 points. So I hope this video is helpful. Hopefully you can two-shot some of your own barbarian camps in your raid weekends. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Helps me out a bunch. There's a couple more videos on the screen if you want to keep on watching. And until next time, take care.